This is the ceiling piece. It actually has about five or six more panels to it, but I couldn't put it on the, the wall. I couldn't figure out how to put it on there where it was symmetrical. And so when I bought a house, in the first house I bought in Huntsville, Alabama, because my mother was getting old, my father was getting old, and I wanted to have a place close to them. And uh, so we, my wife and I moved to Huntsville. And there was one paneled room that was the library. And it, you know, wood ceiling, wood walls. And I thought, you know, it would be so beautiful to do a piece for the ceiling. So I did this piece for the ceiling. It was a sunroom as well, off to the library. And uh, I thought, what am I going to do? And I started thinking, well, as a symbolist, why don't I use symbols? But instead of figurative symbols, the symbols themselves, like the heart, the AA symbol, the not equal to, the Hindu symbol, the star, Sigma Nu uh, pledge pin, the spade, uh, male and female, uh, the swastika, which was the Hindu swastika as well as the German, the dollar sign, the direction, the Freemason, yin-yang, and on and on, the first sign of God, the peace symbol, the eye. Because I love to sit and read, and to read you're thinking and you go into an intellectual mood, and I think that symbolism is intellectual as well. It's like the first Illustrations for books were line engravings. They were meant to be held close to look at the detail. Well, if you can look at the detail in a book like this, if you lay down and look at the ceiling, you're like reading the ceiling, and it makes you think about these different things. So that's how this piece evolved. And I thought, well, I'll do a lot of different colors. And I said, no, it's the ceiling. It should be blue, blue skies. So blue and gold. And I created it so the gold would be on the outside of each piece and the wood would be on the inside. So there's a lot of little things that I didn't remember doing until I started hanging it here. I had this piece and I didn't realize that it was gold and wood, gold and wood, gold and wood. And of course the chain came down with a little velvet thing around it holding this chandelier that was gold. And when it lit up, it was really, I had spotlights going up to it. It was really nice, I liked it. And with all of the, the idea of uh, not being a decorative painter, all paintings are decorative. If you hang them on the wall, the, the cavemen were decorating their caves with their engravings. Everything is decorative. So uh, not to diminish decoration, but to say that there are paintings that have a deeper meaning in, than decoration that you can decorate with pure decoration where you don't have to think. And that's good for certain rooms, like a bedroom. I think it's nice to have as little as possible to enter your thoughts and certainly have positive things, positive paintings. But uh, in a library, definitely intellectual paintings and thoughts.